It's beer o'clock on Relay Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Cloud Water and it's a can of their IPA coming in at 6% ABV. Cloud Water IPA, some of you might be thinking there's been plenty of Cloud Water IPA. Brew it once and it kind of disappears. But now we have a core range, a core range that has landed into Tesco exclusive to Tesco this is the IPA coming in it's about three pounds well it is three pounds a can it's been contract brewed at Brewdog in Ellen for cloud water and then supplied into Tesco 440 milliliter can let's get the beer out into a glass see what we get bit of smoke on the can opening beer in the glass fingers crossed this is good Uh, two finger white head. Hazy. Straw coloured beer. A little bit of carbonation. Let's get the aroma. <clears throat> Smells pretty decent. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit. But if you've watched this series of beers that have been launched onto our channel, I think you're going to pick up on a theme that I've picked up in that Because they've been brewed at Brewdog, there's a certain Brewdog element to this beer. And it, I, I just, I just sighed. I didn't mean to sigh, but I just, it just made me sigh a little bit. It just made me... Because Cloudwater used to be so good, such a good brewery. I mean, I'm sure if you go to their website and you buy their beers from their website and you don't buy it in Tesco, I'm pretty sure it's still going to be excellent beer. Let's, let's dive in and we'll get into it. It's just not how I remember cloud water. It really isn't how I remember cloud water. This is this is a muddle. This is a bit of a mess. I really don't want to sound like a scratched record um, because I reviewed the box from cloud water that hit Tesco, the beer with big ideas, and. Um, it was £10 for a box of beer, £2.50 a can, pretty decent, one was non-alcoholic, caused a bit of a stir online, um, and I think very cleverly, very cleverly, they brewed that box to be very, very good. That box was very, very brilliantly brewed cloud water beer. Um, so everybody started talking about the fact that There was, there was a lot of agendas. There was, there was a lot of stuff going on with that box of beer that, that hit Tesco. And very cleverly, because everybody was talking about that box of beer, they slid in four beers, a Session IPA, a Double Dry Hop Pail, a Pale Ale and an IPA. They put these into Tesco's for £3 a can and nobody's really talking about these beers. Everybody's talking about the box set. Because... Cloudwater wanted you to talk about the box set. 
It's the reason why they brewed the box out, I think. And it's the reason why they wanted to talk to you about the box is because these beers that have launched into Tesco are just not very good. They are just not very good at all. The three beers, the three beers that I've just reviewed, the Double Dry Hop Pale and the Session IPA, just taste like Brewdog's Hazy Jane. This is this is the same. It, it's a slightly stronger. It's six percent ABV. There's a little bit more body. There's a there's a touch more carbonation. There might be a little bit more oats. It's slightly more creamy. But essentially, this boils down to this boils down to another version of of Hazy Jane that has been. Packaged as cloud water, but brewed at Brewdog. It's so messy. It's so messy that that <sighs> personally, I think people should stop talking about the box set. Stop talking about that box set of beers and 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 re-energize their focus onto the onto these three pound cans of beer that have launched into Tesco because I think in the long run this is what I think will happen in the long run they will fade out that box set and that will become ancient history and everybody have had their say everybody's spoken about that box set everybody's had their say but these long term will be the beers that stay into Tesco stores and and all the smoke and mirrors disappear. The box set goes away and we're left with this. I think people need to turn their attention from the box set onto this, what I think is the core range that have now that has now hit Tesco. And 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 it, it's if this is the future of Cloudwater, it, it's if you're a an executive of Cloudwater, it might be okay. You might be earning some top dollar. It's in Tesco. But if you're a beer lover, if you're a lover of beer, and beer alone, and good quality beer, then the future's kind of bleak. It's kind of bleak. It's not very good. Um, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't. It it sniffs of. For me, it was a massive market employ. It was a massive market employ. Put out a political. Put out a a box of beer that is going to get everybody talking. Everybody's banging on about this box of beer, you know, that that's launched into Tesco. That'll disappear, and what we're left with is the real big plan. This, this, this four four beers that have launched: the IPA, Session IPA, Double Dry Hop Pale, and the Pale Ale, which are quite frankly not very good. <laughs> not very good. Um, it's just not got enough about it. It's it, it, it's it's just not got enough about it. It really doesn't. Ah, oh, it's Hazy Jane. It's a 6% Hazy Jane. If you're a fan of Hazy Jane, by the way, fine. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. But I'm not. I'm not. Um, and I'm not being pretentious. I'm not a pretentious person. I am not a pretentious person. We'll leave it at that. I'm going to rate it. It's poor. It's 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 a poor it's a poor beer. It's six six out of ten max. Six out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments. But I'm going to change five. It's a five out of ten. Five out of ten. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.